Imagine total silence. And then, a sound so loud it shattered windows thousands of kilometers away. Today, we explore the extremes of sound from the quietest rooms on Earth to the loudest noise ever heard. But before we dive into the loudest sounds in history, let's briefly go over what sound actually is and how decibels work. Sound is vibration. When something moves back and forth, it pushes air molecules and creates pressure waves. Those waves travel through air, water, or solid materials until they reach your ear. Your brain turns them into what we experience as sound. We measure sound in decibels. But the decibel scale is logarithmic. That means every plus 10 decibels is 10 times more intense. So 100 decibels isn't just louder than 90, it's 10 times stronger. Let's compare. 10 decibels breathing. 30 decibels quiet library. 60 decibels normal conversation. 100 decibels chainsaw. 120 decibels jet engine at 100 meters. 140 decibels gunshot. 180 decibels and rocket launch. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. 194 decibels the maximum sound possible in air. 310 decibels Zar Bomba, not sound anymore, just destruction. When a fighter jet breaks the sound barrier, it creates a sonic boom, a sharp pressure wave. It can reach 130 decibels at ground level. It's not just one bang the boom follows the jet as long as it flies faster than sound. In air, the maximum sound is about 194 decibels. Beyond that, it becomes a shock wave, not something we can hear. But in water or in steel, the limit is higher, even 270 or 300 decibels. In labs, we can measure sounds as quiet as minus 20 decibels. In these rooms, people hear their heartbeat, blood flow, even the movement of bones. It's not peaceful. It's unnerving. The loudest sound in human history was the Krakatoa eruption in 1883. It was heard over 4,800 kilometers away. Sailors' eardrums burst. Pressure waves circled the globe. Tsar Bomba was the most powerful nuclear blast in history. The shockwave was so intense, it wasn't sound anymore, just raw destruction. Estimated intensity, up to 310 decibels. Windows shattered 900 kilometers away. The pressure wave circled the Earth three times. Let's explore the eruption of Anak Krakatoa in more depth. Imagine a sound so loud it burst eardrums 100 kilometers away a sound that circled the entire planet multiple times. This isn't science fiction. It happened in 1883, when a volcano named Krakatoa exploded with a force the Earth had never heard before. Krakatoa was a volcanic island in the Sunda Strait, between the islands of Java and Sumatra, in present-day Indonesia. For weeks in 1883, it showed signs of activity, earthquakes, smoke, rumbling, but nothing could prepare the world for what was coming on August 27, 1883. At 10.02 a.m., the Earth changed. The eruption blew the island apart. The explosion was heard as far as 4,800 kilometers away. People in Australia and Mauritius thought it was naval warfare. The shockwave traveled around the planet not once, but three to four times. Barometers in London, Paris, and New York recorded the pressure changes, the estimated loudness of Krakatoa's eruption was 310 decibels. For context, normal conversation, around 60 decibels. Jet engine up close, about 140 decibels. Pain threshold, approximately 130 decibels. Krakatoa 310 decibels. At that volume, air itself becomes a weapon. Sailors over 40 kilometers away had their eardrums ruptured. Thousands died, not just from the explosion, but from the massive tsunamis it triggered. Ash and debris reached 80 kilometers into the atmosphere, the skies darkened. Sunsets turned blood red. Global temperatures dropped by 1.2 degrees Celsius. Weather patterns changed for years. Some believe the eerie sky in Edvard Munch's painting The Scream was inspired by Krakatoa's aftermath. Krakatoa showed us that a single explosion could affect the entire globe. It was the first event recorded worldwide using modern instruments. This led to advancements in volcanology, atmospheric science, and early global communication.
The loudest sound in recorded history didn't just break windows, it broke the silence of the 19th century world, forever changing how we see nature's power. And even today, deep under the sea, the descendants of Krakatoa still rumble. Anak, Krakatotha, child of Krakatoa, continues to grow, 